The Lone Star Flight Museum, located in Houston, Texas, is an aerospace museum that displays more than 24 historically significant aircraft, and many artifacts related to the history of flight. The museum's collection is rare because most of the aircraft are flyable. Located at Ellington Airport, the museum is housed on about 100,000 feet to 10, square meters of property, including its own airport ramp. The museum, formerly located in Galveston, moved to Houston to avoid a repeat of the devastation suffered during Hurricane Ike. History The museum began as a private collection of historic aircraft in 1985. By 1990, that collection had grown enough that its owner decided to place them on public display. The Lone Star Flight Museum, a non-profit organization funded entirely through private donations, was formed for that purpose. 2008 Damage and restoration The museum reported heavy damage from Hurricane Ike, stating on September 16, 2008, that the hangars and Hall of Fame had received 7 to 8 feet of water and the lobby 3 to 4. Damaged aircraft include a B-58A and F-100 on loan from the U.S. Air Force Museum, Consolidated PBY-5A, de Havilland DH-82A, Grumman F-3F-2, Lockheed PV-2D, and Stinson L-5. Aircraft flown out of harm's way in advance include their B-17, B-25, DC-3, P-47, F-6F, F-4U, SBD, PT-17, T-6 and the F-8F. Most of the airworthy planes were flown out of the museum prior to the hurricane. Those remaining as well as the static displays were largely destroyed or heavily damaged. The B-58 went to Little Rock Air Force Base. The PBY-5A went to the Pima Air and Space Museum. <laughs> Move to Houston Following the destruction of Hurricane Ike, the museum made the decision to move to Ellington International Airport in Houston. It is working with the Collings Foundation and Texas Flying Legends to create a combined aviation museum complex. In March 2014, the museum received $7.6 million from FEMA. The museum broke ground at its new location on November 9, 2015. Initially scheduled to be dedicated on September 1, 2017, the opening was postponed to September 16 due to Hurricane Harvey. TF-51 crash On October 23, 2013 a P-51 Mustang owned by the museum crashed in Halls Lake, just southwest of the museum. Both the pilot and a paying passenger from the UK were killed in the crash. <inaudible> Air shows The museum's collection often participates in airshows across the country. As of 2005, the museum's aircraft annually log more than 40,000 miles kilometers of cross-country flying to various air demonstrations. The museum's P-47 Thunderbolt participates in USAF Heritage flights throughout the year. The USAF Heritage Flight Program was established in 1997 to commemorate the Air Force's 50th anniversary. It involves today's state-of-the-art fighters flying in close formation with World War II, Korean and Vietnam-era fighters such as the P-51 Mustang and the F-86 Sabre. The flight's mission is to safely and proudly display the evolution of U.S. Air Force airpower and to support the Air Force's recruiting and retention efforts. The museum's North American B-25 Mitchell also serves closely with the Disabled American Veterans Program. The DAV Airshow Outreach Program was developed to increase public awareness of disabled veterans and to serve veterans in communities across the nation. Using two B-25 medium bombers, the program reminds the public of the sacrifices veterans have made. 
In 2007, the museum launched its newest program by offering rides in some of its warbirds. The LSFM now operates flights for passengers in the B-17 Flying Fortress, North American B-25 Mitchell, T-6 Texan and the PT-17 Stearman. Texas Aviation Hall of Fame The Texas Aviation Hall of Fame, located within the museum, honors the contributions of residents or natives of Texas to aviation and spaceflight. Inductees include Howard Hughes, Alan Bean, Senator Lloyd Benson, and President George H. W. Bush. Collection Topic Airworthy Bell TAH one P Cobra seven six two two five nine nine it is on loan from the Vietnam War Flight Museum Boeing B one seven G Flying Fortress four four eight five seven one eight Thunderbird Boeing N two S three K Day seven thousand seven hundred and eighteen Boeing N two S five K Day thirty eight thousand four hundred and ninety Cessna 172 E Skyhawk, it has been converted to T 41 configuration. Douglas A 1 D Skyrider 126882 It is on loan from the Vietnam War Flight Museum. Douglas TB 26 C Invader 44 35371. Douglas DC 3 2213. Douglas A24B Dauntless 4254682 It is painted as an SBD. Fairchild PT19 Cornell. Grumman F6F5 Hellcat 94204. Grumman TBM Avenger. It was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008. Lockheed PV-2 Harpoon 37634 It was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008. North American B-25J Mitchell 44-86734 North American SNJ-5 Texan 85053 Republic P-47D Thunderbolt 44-90368 Tahil Hal Stinson L5 Sentinel 42-98798 It was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008. Supermarine Spitfire TE-392 It was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008. Vought F4U5N Corsair 121881 on static display or in restoration Grumman S2 Tracker, it was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008. Lockheed P2V Neptune Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21 North American F-100D Super Sabre, it was damaged by Hurricane Ike on September 13, 2008 and is on loan from the National Museum of the United States Air Force. See also Skulls International Airport at Galveston